What is up, everybody? Welcome back to another video. Today, we're going to be talking about Valorant Patch Notes 9.04 on the PC side and the console side. So don't be afraid to hit that like and subscribe if you enjoy the content. So let's get right into the video and let's read some patch notes. Hey, folks, it's Ash back again with Patch Notes 9.04. Thanks for the warm welcome last time. We're adding a new agent to the roster of Vice. He's a Sentinel with a unique kit that will surely make you hesitate before stomping onto a site. I recommend heading to the range to work on your pistol game since you're going to be using it more when going forward against her. Additionally, Split is entering unrated and swift queues, swift play queues on console and we fixed quite a few bugs. Let us know what you think about the updates and we'll see you on the battlefield. So this is basically the brief highlights overview of, let's just say the 9.04 patch. So for all platforms, just on the brief highlight summary, um, unlimited abilities sheet will now add 100% fuel and remove any fuel consumption from Neon's high gear, Guy's regrowth, Viper's toxic screen, and poison cloud. On consoles, uh, just split will be entering unrated and swift play queues. EC, adjusted tactical timeouts in premier and tournament mode, custom games. And teams now have two tactical timeouts that they can call at any time during Premiere, not ranked games. That would be nice though if we can call it timeout, but too bad nobody comes in ranked games. And if the game goes into OT, each team gets additional tactical timeout. And also, new Ancient Vice is coming. Also, if you don't know, he's a Sentinel. Vice will be releasing in regions at a stagger rollout time on 8-28, or August 28th at 1 1 p.m also meaning i believe it's 4 p.m est so for all platforms general updates the unlimited abilities sheets will now add 100 percent fuel and remove any fuel consumption from neon's high gear guys regrowth uh viper's toxic screen and poison cloud meaning this is mostly a really good update especially for your neon players out there like to practice your uh, movement and such in custom games and the firing range. This is a great update. So for agent updates, Vice goes live. Vice will be released to regions in a staggered rollout starting from 828, 1 p.m. PT, meaning 4 EST. For you EU players, I don't I don't know the time zone difference. I'm sorry. Maybe I should know that for the future, but I can't speak for you guys. Now for abilities. Arc Rose, equip an Arc Rose, target a surface, and fire to place a stealth Arc ro uh, Rose, or alt fire to place an Arc Rose through it. Reuse uh, to blind all players looking at it. This ability can be picked up for a redeploy. Now, for the people who haven't watched anything else, especially for this agent, so it's 20 seconds per blind. However, it can be destroyed after used or uh, prior to use also if it's destroyed i believe it's a 50 second cooldown while between flashes if it's not destroyed and especially on a pickup it's only 20 seconds uh, we got sheer equipped of uh filaments of liquid metal fired to place a hidden wall trap when an enemy crosses and an indestructible wall bursts from the ground the wall lasts for a brief time before dissipating so just for the people who don't know anything about this it's it's very reasonable and it's very noticeable about like the exact same difference of a cipher a cipher trip razor vine equipped a nest of liquid metal fire to launch upon landing the nest becomes invisible when activated it sprawls out into a large razor vine nest which slows and damages all players who move through it deal garden the alt equipped a uh, brand a uh, bramble of liquid metal fire to send the metal erupting from you as a torment of metal thorns jamming enemy primary weapons after a brief windup. Now here's the trailer for the new video. I'm not going to actually play this because I pretty much just covered all the abilities. I will definitely be going into more of a bigger breakdown, especially how this character works within the future. So stay tuned for that for tomorrow because I wasn't invited to the play test, so I don't have any actual footage of Vice. However, I've seen a lot a lot of information, especially from other fellow content creators. And I really do know how this will work and especially how to abuse this, especially within the future on most maps. So I'll definitely bring out a guide soon of maybe clever or really amazing 
vice setups that you can really abuse um, hardcore rushers coming onto your site. So stay tuned for some of that. So for the rest of the patch, uh, we got player behavior updates. We have it issuing a behavior manual evaluation to players who have pattern of engagement of comms and abuse in order to create a healthier comms experience in Valorant. Again, that's a good dub. We, we don't like toxic players. Like there's nothing wrong with trash talking your teammates when they're actually doing bad, me personally. But when it comes to like racist behavior, sexist behavior and such, that's kind of unacceptable and that should be kicked out of Valorant. And the more times you do it, the longer your ban should be, in my opinion. Bug fixes, sky seekers, fix an issue where <laughs> the way <laughs> the way it's listed, it looks like a bug itself. Uh, bug fixes, agent sky seekers, fix an issue where seekers would not consume ultimate points under certain conditions. Neon high gear, fix an issue where Neon could slide into the barrier at the beginning of the round and get a free slide shard. Note, this was fixed at 9.02, but we forgot to forgot to add it in the patch notes. Thanks Reddit user, uh, Blaster, uh, YouTube. Good job. So KO flash drive, fix an issue with the flash drive showing a second explosion if it is behind a wall. Mm, okay. We always gotta fix the bugs, I guess. Fix your game, Riot. Fix your game. Not that hard. Fix your game. No, just kidding. Gameplay systems. Combat report. Fix an issue where spike icons would not show on the combat report when killed by spike explosives. Fix an issue where parts of the minimap were not covered by nearsight abilities. Hmm. Oh, okay. That makes more sense. Uh, fix an issue where the scoreboard with a, uh, would show a white box icon on a disconnected player if they disconnected from the game. Uh, bug fixes under map abyss. It seems like abyss has a lot of bugs. Crazy. Fixes several areas around mid and A site to prevent agent abilities from going through walls. Updated the pre-round barriers around the edges of the map to be more visible. Update the area around B main to prevent agents camping spots on bounds. Updated an area around B main to prevent agents camping spots out of bounds. Icebox fixed a geometry gap in a main. Lotus fixed a visual issue where agents were floating next to the rope when using the ascender line. New player tutorial adjusted and fixed lighting around the new player experience uh, haven level. Known issues, agent Sova. Sova's hunter, drone, or hunter fury does not always play the minimum blind effect on opponents when the damage uh, lands. This will be fixed in 9.05. Good, good, good. Um, I won't cover the PC portion, mostly. Actually, yeah, I'll cover the PC portion. Teams now have two tactical timeouts. Now they can call at any time. Previously, they can only have one per half. If the game goes into overtime, each team will give an additional tactical timeout. Combat report pressing M3 now will open up additional details panel of the combat report. Previously, tab M3. Now it's just pressing M3. Bug fixes, premiere, fix an issue where the schedule would sometimes scroll inconsistently when collapsing and expanding weeks. Console, agent updates, Sova, Hunter's Fury. There's now reduced spikes and rotational speed after firing each shot of the Hunter's Fury. I really noticed that, I'm not gonna lie. They must be watching my gameplay. I swear that that happens to me all the time, but I can't wait to check that out tomorrow. Astra Cosmic Divide. Cosmic Divide's wall placement now prioritizes player input, allowing you to better control the placement of the ability. Map updates. New map split enters unrated and swift play queues. Big W, one of the best maps in the game split. If anybody tells you anything else, they're wrong. You should not follow. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Um, Split is definitely one of the best maps in the game, hands down. And thank God it's back. Competitive updates. We added the season drop down to your act ranked and leaderboard pages so you can check out your previous act ranked history. Bug fixes. Fix an issue that could cause you to be unable to swap your primary or secondary weapon on the traditional control presets. Fix an issue where the ability icons would be misaligned when unbound. Fix an issue where incorrect text prompts would appear during a surrender vote. Fix an issue where the D-pad and stick inputs could change 
toggleable settings. I've actually had that issue before. Thank God they fixed that. Fix an issue where sometimes rank updates and map history do not display. Get that all the time. Thank God for that fix. Fix an issue where viewing players on the on the leaderboard would display a missing player card. Fix an issue where side elements in the leaderboard cannot be navigated after leaving a game. Fix an issue where it seems like a lot of issues. Fix an issue where an observer would see an empty summer uh, summary screen after finishing a custom match. And fix an issue where the last match you view or viewing a friend's career would be incorrect. Gameplay systems. Combat report. Fix, <laughs> fix an issue. Fix an issue with combat reports flickering after respawning in team deathmatch. Fix an issue with combat reports overlapping the victory slash defeat ceremony if the player is dead at the end of the round or the dead at the final round. Fix a bug where combat reports not showing up after Forge closing the game and reconnecting the match. Known issues. Oh my gosh. How many issues? How many issues do they have in this game? Jeez. Vice. Uh, Vice's damaging abilities display incorrectly in combat reports. Gameplay system surrendering voting. You can close the voting notification pop up by pressing the circle slash B, B button. This results you in not able to persist participate in the vote you will eventually default to a no vote after timing out button um, icons appear in the bottom right hand corner of the screen while the voting pop-up is active these are blocked some of the other ui elements until voting ends oh, oh my gosh a lot of bug fixes <laughs> a lot of bug fixes but that's pretty much it for the valorant patch notes guys um First thoughts about Vice. Um, I think she's going to be actually really good. She's not going to... Actually, I don't want to spoil it, especially for the video I'm going to be making tomorrow. I'm going... In, I have so many ideas for this agent, and I think I'm going to abuse every single aspect into, of her kit until they nerf her. She is definitely an agent that's a bit overtuned at first, but... With the ideas I have around for this agent, I think it's going to be absolutely disgusting. And I don't think she, she's actually, I wouldn't say she's going to be replacing any of the Sentinels, but I think a lot of the combos you see will actually be double Sentinels on certain sites. A set of double initiators, I won't be surprised if you see one duelist, one initiator, one controller, and two Sentinels, especially how good and how tricky tr the trap plays that she can perform on certain maps. Like Ascent is going to be amazing for her. Uh, Bind, I think she's going to be really disgusting on Bind. Uh, what else? Um, Haven, oh, I got so many ideas for Haven. I can't wait to definitely show you guys all of my uh, exploits. I'm not going to say exploits. They're valid things within the game. But I can't wait to show you my tips and tricks, especially in the tomorrow's video, when I deep dive into Vice's kit and show you what I'm mentally thinking about. But I want to say to save that. But I want to save that for tomorrow. So stay tuned for that tomorrow video. So that's it for the video, everybody. Hopefully everybody had a wonderful time. Me just walking through and talking through the patch notes. If you say to the end, the password for this video or the secret message in this video is covers the best. Comment down below if you say to the for the end. Love you all. Peace out. Have a wonderful time. And I'll see you in the next video where I talk about advice.